something interesting happens with these, with these horses. They get to where they say, I kind of like you better up on the mounting block. You're lucky. Now, if I were working a horse on the ground a little bit, and I won't do much, but if I'm working him on the ground a little bit here, I'd get his wheels turning, and I'd get him thinking to himself, Jack, I'm kind of... I'm kind of done with the groundwork. You know, what can I do to, to take a break? So what I would do is keep him moving and I might get up on that block. Now, the first thing that everybody wants is that horse to bring the saddle over. And yeah, that's the goal, but we don't want that right now. What I want is smooth motion forward. And if you know, and I don't even want to halt yet. I want smooth walking motion forward. Notice I'm lifting and leading. I'm active and standing tall. And you notice my feet are even moving right now. If you think about it, that's what we did on the ground. The presentation's the same. I'm lifting, I'm leading, I'm tall. If he wants to. Uh, I'm moving my feet. Well, don't be surprised when we're riding and I talk like that too. But here we go. So now I'm going to settle. I'm going to bring him forward and we'll settle. This is fine. It was okay. I'm going to say, all right, now let's go forward again. Lift, lead, step up, circle. Now, sometimes we'll move that hindquarters and lead the front end through, but I'll tell you something. You can do that. You should all get to that point if you're, if you're not already. But you don't even, to mount, get a horse to mount, you know what the biggest thing you need is? Forward. And everyone thinks, what? I want my horse to stop. If you get them forward at the mounting block walking, they're going to give you that saddle eventually. And the thing of it is, I won't pull his nose to me. I just settle. My posture settles. When I want to go, we stand tall. When I want to stop, I settle. See that? Life down. Life up. Life down. All right. We've got two mounting blocks. Want to give that a go? Don't pull their head to you. Why? Their, butt, their rump swings. And everyone goes, and I'm not saying, you know, you do it, but I see people do this a lot where they'll pull their head, the rump swings out. I want you to think about how willingly forward is my horse. Now, something interesting happens with these, with these horses. They get to where they say, I kind of like you better up on the mounting block. You're less work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if on the ground, if I'm working them a foot, and then I get on the block and they stop, they look at you and they go, get on my back. I like you better up on my back. They really do get to that point. All right. Let me show you something, though. So if he's, if he's a horse that's sticky in their mouth, that bites at the rope, if they're, if they're kind of resistant in their head, that's just all you had to do. Just kidding. <laughs> See? Um, but if they're sticky in their mouth, if they're, if they're moving their mouth, if they're jerky with their head or flinchy with their head, they're stuck in their feet and vice versa. If a horse is smooth on their feet, they'll be smooth on their head. Make sense? That's kind of like that bit thing you asked me about. If a horse is chomping on the bit, that's one thing. But if they're chomping on the bit and their feet get stuck, that's another, see? So now, one of the, one of the traps that we have to be careful that we don't get into is I know it takes a lot of pressure to lead him forward right now. He's not, Mr. S he's not super light right now, is he? So you're having to, like, she's having to really lead him ahead. The problem with that is the rump wants to swing out. So what I want to do is I sort of lead him ahead and I push a little float in there. Now, look how short my rope is. It's short, right? But watch this. Contact and then float. Contact. So even on a short rope, we can float it. We just have to soften up a little bit. So... Believe it or not, don't get mad at me now. Believe it or not, though, he was getting a little confused because he was, you were leading him forward, but he was sensing, he was bending to you. And you have to give him, there's a point where what you do is you just settle and stand. Whoop, now right there, I, I, I should have kept going. There. See how that rope is pretty long here and then touch him. We'll get it. I, I promise we'll get it. Yeah. And you've probably had this before with him and even if we do, he hasn't he's never done this. Okay. So, if, so smooth on the feet, no biting at the rope, smooth on the feet, and then it's going to be, it'll be much easier to get him to 
to present that saddle. Um, now I know I went kind of.